Hello wonderful people, it's Wild here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create 15 fabulous fence designs to spruce up your builds for everything from modern to medieval to fantasy. These designs use a modular system, so once you've got one pattern down pat, you can repeat it as many times as you like to create more fences. I like to stick to groups of three or five as this means there is a center, but for some modern designs, it can be helpful to have two block centers, like on this square design here. These fence designs can be customized by changing out the blocks, and this can give you a million different looks to suit your build. These fences will really make your builds look polished and professional, so let's get creating. This first design is a very simple low profile fence, and you can see it uses fence gates and walls and you can use whatever fence gates and walls you'd like. By placing three fence gates with a wall either side, you get this arch texture, and this style of fence would look great around any house or would work great around the farm with lots of access through the gates. This next style of fence would also look great around the farm and uses some oak logs. You could definitely customize this with some other log types. So what I'm doing is I'm alternating between two high logs and one high logs with fences in between. Place a slab on top of each log and then trap doors in front of each of the two high logs. This design uses lots of deep slate as well as some chains and I can imagine this would look really good for perhaps a Victorian or steampunk build or a dark fantasy build. It has five wide panels with posts of chiseled deep slate and deep slate tiles in between, separated by three deep slate bricks, then place some chains on top and finish with some slabs. Mixing in with the bricks with the tiles adds some great texture and some contrast with the very slight color difference. For a fence that would look great around cottage core builds, use some composters placed three blocks apart to create some planters with some azalea leaves on top. Then in the center of the gaps, place a chiseled stone brick, then use three mossy stone brick walls, as well as some pots. You could customize the colors of the flowers you put in your pots, but I'm using some flowering azalea bushes and some pink tulips. This next fence design has a jungle vibe and work great alongside my jungle bridge. If you haven't seen the bridge tutorial, be sure to check it out. So for this, we have a six long panel like this, with this being the start, which will connect up to these fences here. So begin by building three high with some jungle logs, leave a two block gap and build two high. And then connect these up with some slabs extending out two from the two high one. Then place in some fences and some fence gates. Top it off with some slabs and then some pots. And place some jungle saplings and bamboo in these pots. Jungle trapdoors add some great detail and then some vines. And you can continue the pattern on from here. Finishing off with three high of the jungle logs. This next design has a fairy tale look, but would also look great around a mansion or cottage. So there are some rooted dirt spaced three apart here with trap doors on the visible sides. Make sure you put one on the end when you are finishing your fence. Then fill in the gap with some plain azalea leaves and put some iron bars on top of this. Then plant some flowering azaleas in the pots. And you can have different heights for these azaleas. This design has a grand feel with the hedge and the stone brick. And it's created with panels edged either side by some chiseled stone brick with stone brick on top and then a stone brick wall. Then to connect the two, use some stone brick stairs facing them in either direction 
And you can see here that I am going to be alternating. So this pattern has a stair in the center. So for this next gap, I'll flip them around. So I have the flat face of the stair and I'll alternate across for the next one. Then top with some spruce leaves and some iron bars. And don't forget some buttons for just a bit more texture. This design has a larger seven wide panel and will work really well for an Edwardian build. The brick sections are separated by some chiseled stone brick and stone brick. Then build five across, one, two, three, four, five, with your bricks before you put in the next stone brick section. For some details, put a brick block in the center and then curve some um, brick stairs around and check that there aren't any holes poking through. Place some bricks in the center and then use some brick stairs to create a little crenellation shape across the top. For this kind of wall, it's also a nice idea to add some greenery like bushes. How you go about building these is up to you and you can have as many or as little as you like. For a wall or fence with a medieval design, try something like this, which uses crenellations, which are inspired by a castle and has built in lighting. Begin your posts separating each section by building three high, and these are five apart. One, two, three, four, five. Then you can place a light on top of these and a stone brick wall and cover up the front face and the back face if you'd like, with some trapdoors. The gap in between, alternate between chiseled and regular stone bricks. Then have a layer of plain stone bricks. Then place in a layer with some stone brick walls mixed in. You'll also need a slab for the center and then use stairs for the crenellations. And for a final detail, place a spruce trapdoor at the bottom of each post. This modern wooden two-tone design uses spruce and oak for a real contrast look, but you could definitely switch out these woods for ones that match your build. For these center sections, start with two spruce stairs. Then using a placeholder block, I've got dirt, Place some upside down oak stairs and then switch back to some spruce stairs to top it off. Then for the connecting bit that joins it to the next section of these, place in two oak slabs and then a spruce slab. And you can see how this pattern will repeat. If you'd like a more ornate design, why not try something like this? You could totally switch out the sandstone colored blocks for stone colored blocks or even deep slate if that matches your build better. But we'll start with some, uh, some chiseled sandstone placed three blocks apart. Then we'll join these with some stripped birch logs and face the center one forward so you can see this texture. On top of each of these will be build two up with cut sandstone and place a sandstone wall on top. Add in some smooth sandstone stairs. And then with some sandstone stairs, create a little archway. Placing a sandstone block in the middle. Finally, to finish it off, add a birch fence as well as some birch buttons. This ultra modern fence looks great with and without a hedge. But I'm gonna leave in the hedge for a little less greenery. I'll begin the fence by continuing along the hedge, which should be three blocks high. Then I'm using a mixture of quartz stairs and smooth quartz stairs to cre create the squares. Having in the hedge also makes it easier to place in your quartz stairs. So I'll place in a smooth quartz stair then on the layer up, a place in a regular quartz square.
This birch design is easy to create and you could even hide some hidden lighting in behind the trapdoors. But to build it, you'll place two high stripped birch logs every other block like this and in between place in a birch fence with a birch fence gate on top. Every other um, birch pillar gets a birch slab and the in between get a birch button and finish it off with some birch trapdoors. This modern oxidized copper fence is created with a bunch of slabs and you can go about this two ways. You can randomize the texture as you go or you can build all out of oxidized cut copper slabs and then um, adjust the blocks once you've got that created. So you can see I'm creating the two block tall posts out of the slabs and you can place in blocks straight away for these but I just find it easier to use slabs. And each time I'm placing the slabs on the top half or on the lower half. Once I've got the design in like that, then I'll go in with some waxed, uh, weathered, wax exposed and wax cut copper slabs and randomize these. You could also definitely create this design using just one of the slab types or use a completely different type of slab. For a medieval cottage core or for enchanted forest design, this stone brick wall could be a great option and it uses some dispensers as a decorative block along the bottom. It also has some moss growing on the wall, but I'll begin by building it just out of the stone brick and replace with moss later, although you can put it in as you go. First, I'll start with some chiseled stone brick placed three blocks apart and then use dispensers to join these. Make sure when you're placing them that you can see this two-tone side from the front. Then you need to build up three high, one, two, three, on each of these chisel blocks. One on top of these dispensers. And then we'll create a little keyhole shape. Placing one either side, then an upside down stair, and then a slab on each of these stairs, and finally a block in the center. Then switch to some stone brick walls to go on top of here and here. Tuck one underneath here, as well as some iron bars. And then use some stone brick stairs placed upside down and then right way up with some iron bars on top to complete these details. And finally, place in three buttons. Once you've got the design of the wall down, you can go in with some mossy blocks to give it an overgrain look. So now you know how to make 15 plus fence designs. Be sure to comment your favorite design down below and join my Discord to share a picture of your newly decorated build. I'd really appreciate it if you consider subscribing and check out my Patreon to support me more. See you in another video!